Hey Android fans, it's Eric with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking about Circle Launcher. Um, it is a widget that you can add to your home screen that uh, helps uh, speed up accessing uh, apps or contacts that you want quick access to. Um, I've had it for a while. I've used it on my phone before. I'm not currently using it. Uh, it it uh, it just depends on what you need it for. It's right now. It's not something I need, and it's not uh, my favorite launcher. But it's great at what it does. It's just uh, you know your different needs. So I do want to show it to you because depending on your uh, home screen setup and depending on what your needs are, it may be really great and perfect for what you need. Like I said, I used it for uh, several months with the particular setup I had. And then I changed some things around and decided I didn't need it. So uh, let's hop on my phone and I will show you how it works and all the great features it has and why you uh, might uh, want to get it uh, for your phone. Okay, so here you have my home screen. Uh, we're not going to go into the app drawer because it's not an app, it is a widget, so it will not show up in your app drawer. But as always, if you want to add a widget to your home screen, you long press and you click widgets. That's going to bring up our list of widgets along with the optional sizes for Circle Launcher. As you can see right here, we have the basic Circle Launcher. You have a 1x2 Circle Launcher, 2x1 or 2x2. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the basic Circle Launcher. When you first uh, put it on your home screen, it's immediately going to open up the settings so you can decide what you want it to be. Launcher type allows you to select if you want it to show apps that you choose, contacts that you choose, or bookmarks that you choose. This will probably be the one thing that I think uh, could be improved about Circle Launcher and uh, probably should have been improved by now is that uh, you have to choose apps or contacts or bookmarks. Um, it would be better if you could have a mixture of all of those, if you so choose. Uh, also, I would love for them to offer shortcuts. If they offered shortcuts, then they wouldn't have to have contacts or bookmarks because you can use shortcuts in uh, any Android phone to add direct uh, contact or direct dial or direct text or uh, bookmarks. So uh, that would be an improvement I would suggest is that uh, they change from apps or contacts or bookmarks to to being apps and shortcuts so that you could configure it any way you wanted to and you could have a combination of these. But as it is, you have to choose one or the other. I'm going to choose apps to show you. And then you, collect the, you click the select apps button and you can choose what apps you want. I'm just going to choose the first several on here to show you. Once you've checked what you want in that particular uh, circle, you hit the back button. You can choose your launcher style. You can have it be a circle, you can have it be a horizontal line, or vertical line. Now this does not refer to the widget that shows up on your screen. What this refers to is when you press the widget, how does it display uh, your apps? You can have it display in a vertical line, a horizontal line, or a circle. Um, I believe the circle is the coolest. I think it not only looks the better, looks the better, looks the best, but functions the best. So that's what I'm going to use. Then you can choose your launcher icon. You can choose any color and any style of these circles. The ones that have this little thing across the middle, you may wonder what that's for. That's because inside of that you can put your uh, the title of that launcher. So if you're going to have one for games, you could have games and you can have it show in that little slot, which would be kind of cool. If you're not planning on having a title at all, or if you want to move the title below the circle, which you can do, and you guys who watch my videos know by now I love customization and you might pick one of these more pearlesque circles and have the text under the bottom. For now let's choose this one here. You can then choose your transparency, how uh, transparent you want it to be. I'll go about 60 percent. Now if you want you can select downloaded icons or select custom icons. So if you select custom icon I'll just show you it pops up 
your gallery. You can pick a picture from your gallery or if you downloaded and installed my previously reviewed The Icon Ultimate, then uh, you could pick any of the icons uh, from The Icon Ultimate. Um, so it does allow you, instead of having a circle, to select a particular icon. So you could select like a gaming icon and then have all your habits so that when you tap that, the circle launches with uh, your gaming apps. So it could be cool for that. You can also select the color for the launcher label. So if your launcher is going to have a label, you can select the color for it. And then you can theme it. You can select an ADW launcher theme or a Go launcher theme if you want to. Now once you've uh, dealt with the icon, you can then go to the label and name the label. Um, now there are more than games in this because I just selected random stuff, but I'm just going to rename it to games just because. Just so I can show you that you can do that. They do have backup and restore, so you can backup and restore your widget settings. That can be really useful, um, especially if you're someone that tinkers with your phone a lot, um, like I do, which uh, anytime you mess with stuff in your phone, you have a higher potential for screwing something up and needing to restore it. And then there's extra configuration. Now this is where it gets really detailed, and you know me, I, I love it when you can do anything you want to do, and you can with this. When you click that launcher, the background is dimmed so that you can see your launcher icons. You can select the value of that dimming. You can also uh, select instant dimming, and that means there's no animation. If you leave that unchecked, you'll see it dim sort of like goes from being completely bright to dimming. Uh, blur background, if you want to blur it so it's out of focus, I'll check that just so you can see how that looks like. O open launcher always centered. Now this is for this, if you do select circle, uh, you may, especially if your icon is up in the top, you may not want that circle to be around the icon because it would be off the screen. So you can select for it to be always centered. I'm going to leave it like it is right now just so you can see it and then we can come in and I'll come in and maybe change that so you can see what it looks like when you do that. You can have it not show the status bar when you open the launcher and you can also have it vibrate when you open the launcher. Uh, show icon. Now if you unclick that then the icon will not show at all. So you could in essence, and I kind of like this, you could have a secret widget. So you could have a circle launcher widget on your screen but have it not showing. So only you would know what that if you tap that little invisible spot it launches your circle launcher. Um, but we're going to leave it showing right now. You can change the size of it, how big or how small you want it to be. And then this is where you have the option to show the icon label or not. We're going to have it show the label which is games and then you can select the size We'll just pick a random size. And then the widget configuration. So when you're talking about the widget icon size, that's not the size of the little widget that shows on your screen. That is the size when you tap that widget and the launcher opens, as you'll see, you can select uh, how big you want that circle to be. So we'll leave it at 100 and we'll come back in and change it if we need to later. You can also select the position of the label. So if you leave it by default, it will be in the center of the circle. But you can also have it uh, below the icon. Or you can have it be below the icon but light. Circle appearance. This is where you can decide how you want the circle to open. We're going to have it be automatic. But you can tweak this. You can have it do anything. So this just allows you to specify where you want the circle of uh, apps or contacts or bookmarks to go. And you'll see that in just a second. And then you can also customize the color of the circle. Let's make ours and the transparency. Let's make ours a semi-transparent blue. And uh, you can also, I've got, use automatic circle size, so that the circle will be sized based on uh, the number of apps. But you can also select your own circle size if you want. Call, or you want to uh, 
uh, show the info. Um, again, if they would update that so that it was uh, allow you to just choose apps and shortcuts, then within a shortcut you decide whether you want it to be direct call, direct text, or contact information, which I think would be best. So if they watch this video, maybe they'll work on implementing that. So once you're done with that, you click save. Um, this has nothing to do with Circle Launcher. This has to do with my ADW Home screen. And there you go. If you see it up in the corner, that's my one by one widget. I'm going to move it because I want it to be in a, more in the center. You can see that it is uh, transparent as I set it. And I don't know if you can see or not, but it does say in the center it says games. It's uh, dark because I didn't change the color of that. And if you remember, you can change the color of that if you want to. Now when I tap it, you'll see it blurred the background, it faded it, which we could set how dark we want the fade to be, but it also blurred it because we decided we wanted it. And a circle came up around the circle and you have your apps you can choose. As you see, as you go around the apps, you can they get bigger to let you know if you pull your finger off right there, it's going to launch that. Now if you tap this and then you tap in the center, that opens up your settings again. Alright, let's change the color of this to white. Now you can see games a lot better because it's showing up white in the circle. So I like that. Um, let's go with some of the other settings so you can see what those do. Um, launcher style. If you go horizontal line, and you see it opens up in a line. I don't like that because it tends to always feel crowded unless you only have a few things. It's still, when you get to something, it gets bigger, so you can still launch it, but personally I prefer the, the circle where you can see it all. This is the vertical line, so it just goes up and down from the circle. So let's change that back to circle. Let's go to extra configuration. Um, let's change open launcher always centered. So you can see what that does. Uh, show icon label. Now this is where the label underneath the individual app icons. And you can change the size of that as well. Um, let's make the icons a little smaller. And let's take away the label. Because why do you need a label to tell you what an app is? The icon itself should tell you what the app is. Change the, the widget icon configuration. Let's change the size. Let's make it smaller. And then the uh, let's put the text below the icon. And this is where you can change the circle size. Let's take away automatic circle size and let's make it pretty big. And now I'm going to save that. And you'll see, I changed the circle size. It's really tiny now. And then it has that standard games underneath it. And if you tap that, I made the circle really big, so big that it's off the screen. And uh, I'm that I did make it centered so that it's not based on where the circle is. It's just centered. Let's make it smaller because that's just ridiculous. Um, let's go back to automatic circle size. And now you can see it's a little circle in the center. But you could make it a little bit bigger and not make it quite so big as I did. You can also see the icons are smaller than they were before because I changed the icon size. They still get big when you put your finger on it so that you know that's what you're launching. 
And uh, since I haven't done it, I'll show you when it's big and you lift off, it launches that application. And again, you can change the icon, you can change the name, it's very configurable. The only thing that they could do to improve this is instead of being apps or contacts or bookmarks, it should be apps and shortcuts, which would allow you to have any combination of uh, apps, contacts, uh, bookmarks, and any other shortcuts that any of your apps come with. So that is the widget circle launcher, which is available in the Google Market. Um, yes, I am doing a super, super close up end cap uh, uh, closing remarks today. Uh, I don't know why, I just felt like doing something different. So in case you wanted to, you know, get up close and personal, this is your chance. Hopefully I don't have any nose hairs that are showing. Anyway, um, that circle launcher, like I said, it's a great app. It's uh, something that I'm not using currently only because, you know, there's a lot of different types of launchers and sometimes certain ones work for certain people or certain home screens. And with my configuration right now, I, I don't particularly need it, but um, it is a great app. It works great for what it does. Uh, the only improvement that they could possibly do is what I've already mentioned. Um, other than that, the way it works and functions and um, the, uh, the customization I love, because uh, you know me, I like to tinker and play with stuff and make stuff my own. That's what makes uh, an app great to me is when it's set up to just work without you having to change anything, but it allows you to change things to your heart's content if you want to. So uh, I love that they put that in there. So that's Circle Launcher. Uh, again, as always, I'm Eric with HollywoodPhoto.com's Android app reviews. Um, if you like this review, click the like button. If you hate the review, but you like me, then click the like button. And if neither of those are true, then you can click the dislike button if you want, but I prefer you not. Um, if you like, if you want to just be updated when I put up more reviews, because I'm putting them up regularly, then click the subscribe button. I am trying my best to, to review apps that I think will help uh, you make your phone better and make it work better. So uh, uh, subscribing might be, might be a good thing to do. You can also see all my reviews over at my website, which is Hollywood Frodo. It's F as in Frank, R-O-D-O, HollywoodFrodo.com. Yes, I am a Lord of the Rings fan. And uh, that's it for today. Uh, last but not least, I'm reminding you as always that your Android phone is only as good as you make it.